Hi and welcome to Tech Radio's quick tour of the Apple TV. At the top of the menu you've got the top films. Let's have a look now. Inside here is easy to buy or rent a film. Um, if you want to preview it, you just click, click on preview and away you go. I'll just click back to the menu now just to show you how it loads in. Back in the menu, um, if I go down to movies, here's the full list of uh, movies that Apple offer. Click on Moneyball. Here you get some information about it and you can preview the film. Across the top you've got different options. Genius, uh, we don't currently have any recommendations there. We've also got genres, which is a different way to search for films. All the fame, uh, popular genres are here, like kids and family and horror. And you get the top rentals inside each genre. So it's also possible to uh, find trailers in here. There's the full list of trailers, and there's a trailers for theatre. Um, films and films that you can rent from Apple. We've also got TV shows. Lots of good stuff in here. Homeland, Sherlock. Let's have a look at Mad Men. And you can see, you can look at each individual episode. Now the music options uh, work if you've got iTunes Match connected. I don't have that connected at the moment. So I'll move on to look at computers. This is my uh, Mac that's on the same Wi-Fi network. My music collection. Um, you can see what else is in here. If I had any music videos they would um, appear in the music videos section down there. But I don't have any, so let's get back and look at settings. And in the settings, you'd set up your Wi Fi password and you'd log into the iTunes store here as well. One thing that's worth looking at is a screensaver, um, it's pretty nice. There are various effects you can apply and choose here. Let's go for reflections. Then if you go back up, we can choose what we're looking at. Um, the National Geographic photos look lovely, and we can preview them. You could also put other things in here, like your photo stream if you wanted to. But now I'll just show you some of the pictures from National Geographic. As you can see, they look absolutely fantastic. Right then, let's see what else Apple TV can do. Going back to the menu, uh, let's have a look at Netflix. Now I've already set this up with my account, so when I go in there it should go straight in. With some suggestions for me to watch. Let's go down to new releases and see what Netflix has to offer. It takes a little while to access the servers, but once it's there, you can see the new releases from Netflix. Um, there's a one month free trial and the normal subscription price is £5.99 a month. Let's have a look at what else we've got. Uh, Major League Baseball TV. Now you have to watch these live, so when I go in here, Yep, there's nothing actually on at the moment. There's also a trailers option. Uh, it's just this another way of accessing the trailers we saw before in the movie section. There's some information about the island president. Wall Street Journal Live is a new channel. We could watch live now, we can uh, see what's on the schedule uh, 
and YouTube of course um, wouldn't be complete without YouTube you can see what the feature videos are um, let's have a look at the Prometheus trailer we could also log in here uh, with our YouTube account and get our own subscriptions loads pretty quickly here it is As well as YouTube, there's also a Vimeo. Let's go back up to the menu and find that. And the menu system here is very similar to the YouTube menus. Let's go look at the feature channels. Um, going back up, let's look at podcasts. Quick way to get to the top podcast is there. It's also a search option. Um, internet radio, of course, is supported. It loads them in. And it's all split down by category. Annoyingly, there's no way of searching here. You just have to look through the list. Um, a photo stream. I've set this up for my account as well so I can look at all my photos taken on my iPhone bang there's one also mobile me um, that feature will be phased out in July so we won't focus on that and finally this Flickr it's a good point to look at the searching options as you can see you have to navigate around this alphabet block using the menu which is pretty tedious luckily I'm searching for cats which is a short word Longer words are awfully tedious to type. Um, it's not the world's most elegant system. There's some cats. Okay, well I think that's the end of our quick tour of the Apple TV. Hope you've enjoyed it.